Hey boys and girls, we are working on the second half of 7-Eleven. Um, and this one is going to be about expanded form. Now I want to remind you what expanded form is. If I gave you this number, 375, we know 3 is in the hundreds place, 7 is in the tens place, and 5 is in the ones place. So this 3 is not worth 3. It's really worth 300. This 7 is not really worth just 7. It's really worth 7D because it's in the tens place. And this 5 is actually worth 5 because it's in the ones place. This is expanded form. When you get all of the values in the number and expand Band them out and we put the plus sign. Okay, that's just a quick review of what expanded form is. Now, I want to remind you about decimals. So remember, the decimal point is the marker, it marks the point between whole and part, meaning anything to the left is whole, and any number to the right is a part. So, um, that helps. Just like, um, another quick review point is just like with, um, whole numbers, decimals have place value too. So this zero right here is in the ones place. Then I have my decimal point and then I have the tenths place. There's no ones place. It skips all the way to tenths. Then I have the hundredths place. If you need to make a copy of this, I would. Okay, so if I gave you three and I gave this one five, this right here is worth three tenths. So I would just keep it right here as point three. This is worth five hundredths. So would this be correct? No, I need to put the zero and then the five. So I have the tenths, hundredths. It has to be in that hundredths place. So the expanded form of this would be point or the three tenths plus five hundredths to give me thirty-five hundredths. Okay, maybe my decimal point. So let's practice that. I want you to watch me. I'm going to give you the number. 300, or no, actually we're going to start smaller. We're going to start with 3 and 4 tenths. I'm going to mark my places. This is in the ones place. This is in the tenths place because there is no once place. There's only tenths. So I need to expand this out. I have the value of this 3 is 3, and I'm adding on this 4 tenths, so it would be point 0.4, and that equals 3.4. This right here is that expanded form. I have the value for each, the value 3 and the value 4 tenths, expanded out with the plus signs in between. Let's try another one so you can kind of see it. Let's say I have 13, um, 25 hundredths. Okay, what value is the one in? It's in the tens place. What value is the three in? It's in the ones place. What value is the two in? It's in the tenths place. 
And what value is the 5 in? It's in the hundreds place. So I need to take this one by one and expand it out. How much is this one really worth? That one is really worth 10. So I write it like this. How much is three really worth? Well, it's worth three. And I need to make sure to keep my plus sign. Okay, how much is this two really worth? Well, I have my decimal point, so it's worth two tenths. You need to make sure to keep that decimal point or people will automatically assume it's just two. Okay? And then my last one, my five in the hundreds place. Well, it's worth five hundredths. Remember, I have to put my place value as zero to hold the tenths place, and then it stays in the hundredths place. Okay, so that would be the expanded form of 13 25ths. I have the 10 to match the 1. I have the, and I'm actually going to do it in the color I wrote it in. I have the 10 to match the 1. I have the 3 to match the 3 in the 1's place. I have the 2 tenths to match this 2 and the five hundredths to match that five. I'm just breaking it apart by each value. So let's try another one. Let's do 16 and four hundredths. Okay, let's break it apart by value. And I think this would be a smart idea for each one of you to do as you're doing your work today. How much is this? What place is this one in? It's in the tens place. What place is this six in? It's in the ones place. What place is this zero in? It's in the tenths place. And what place is this four in? It's in the hundredths place. And if you need to color coordinate like I am, I think it is a, such a smart idea. Okay, so let's break it apart. The value of this one in the tens place is what? 10. The value in this ones place is what? 6. And I need to make sure to have my plus signs. The value in the tens is what? Well, 0. So do I have to write it? The answer is no. Just like in 308, I would have done 300 plus 8 because there's no 10 value. So there's no value in the tenths up here, so I don't have to write this one. Then the 4 and the hundredths would be my decimal point. I need to put a 0 for the place value of 4, or for the place value of 10, to hold that place. And then I put the 4 on the hundredths to keep it 4 hundredths. So now I have that expanded form. I'm just breaking it apart bit by bit, meaning I have my 10 for this one. That's the value of it. 6 is the value of this 6. 4 hundredths, 4 hundredths is the value of this 4 in the hundredths place. Okay? Try it with me here. You're going to do it step by step with me. We're going to do 31 and 25 hundredths. So do it step by step with me. Ask yourself, what place value is this 3 in? It's in the tens place. What value is this 1 in? It's in the ones place. What value is this 2 in? What place value is it in? What place is it in? It's in the tenths place. And what about this five? It's in the hundredths place. Okay, we're doing it step by step together. 
So we need to break it apart. How much is this three really worth, boys and girls? Is it worth only three? No, it's worth how much? 30. How much is this one really worth? Well, yeah, you're right. It's worth one. How much is this two worth? You're right. Because of this decimal point right there, it's worth two tenths, just like that. And how much is this five worth? You're right, because of the decimal point, it's worth, and I have to put a zero to hold the tens place, five hundredths. So that gives me the expanded form right there. Okay, try this one on your own. Let's do 47 and nine tenths or nine, nine tenths, nine hundredths. Okay, pause the video. When you're ready, turn it back on and check your work. Okay, this one is in the tens place. This is in the ones place. This is in the tenths place. And this is in the hundredths place. So we need to expand this out. So I'm gonna have a number for the tens, and that would be, I look over and I see in the tens place, I have four, which if I have four tens, would give me 40. Then I add on my one, oops, wrong color, my ones place. I can see I have seven in my ones place. So if I have seven ones, that's worth seven. Now I look at my tenths place. I have the value of zero. So if I have zero tenths, I don't need to write it. Then I move on to this nine. How much is that nine really worth? You're right, it's worth nine hundredths. So I have to put a decimal point Put a zero to hold the tens place, and then put the nine right after. So I have it in its expanded form. Try one more on your own. Do seven and ninety-five hundredths. Okay, pause the video, you try it yourself. This is my ones place. This is my tenths place, and this is my hundredths place. So I start from the left and read to the right, like normal. So I start with the seven. How much is that seven really worth? If I have seven ones, it's really worth seven. Then I move on to the tenths place. If I have nine tenths, that's how much it's worth. So I put my decimal point and put the point nine. If I have five in the hundredths, it's worth five hundredths. And I put that zero there to hold the tenths place. Now, would this be right? Seven plus point nine five. It would not be correct. And I wanna tell you why. We can't leave the 0.95 together because there's two different place values. There's the tens and there's the hundredths. So just like if I had the number 95, I would break it up and do tens and ones. I have to do the same thing with decimals. I have to break them apart. They cannot stay together. Okay, I hope this helps. If you have questions, message me on Google Hangout.